Hello there fellow model makers and welcome to the 6th and last part of a Hobby Boss 132nd scale Spitfire Mark 5B build. Last time we painted the kit and added some chipping. We then gave the entire kit a couple of coats of gloss varnish and we are now ready to apply the decals. I will be using Mr. Mark Softer and Mr. Mark Setter to fix the decals. I start with the wing roundels. I first apply some mark setter and then slide the decal in place. Once the decal is in place, I remove any liquid or air that may be trapped under it by gently rolling a Q-tip or cotton bud over it. Lastly, a layer of Mark Softer. I will keep applying layers of Mark Softer till the decals conform to the surface perfectly. I must say that the Hobby Boss decals are excellent and soften and conform to the surface beautifully. Now, I have applied almost all the decals and have run into a problem. There is no decal number 34. It's the one that goes right next to the fuel tank cap here. The number 34 decal on the sheet is something completely different. Anyway, I don't have a replacement decal with me right now, so we'll have to do without it. Problem number 2. The decals on the underside of the wings have to go over some rather bumpy details. The only solution around this problem is to be patient and keep applying a softener till the decals conform to the surface. Fortunately, Hobby Boss decals are pretty good and in the end, these decals did conform to the surface, if not perfectly. With the decals fixed, I hand painted the exhaust with burnt umber. It's also time now to start putting together the remaining sub-assemblies, like the wheels. These tyres are actually made of rubber, which is a feature I love in this kit. Naturally, I will not be painting the rubber tyres with uh, rubber paint. I will just leave them as they are. With everything more or less in place, I give the entire kit a couple of coats of gloss varnish. In this case, pledge or future floor polish. Once again, I work in light misty layers rather than one thick layer of varnish. I use a piece of board to protect the rubber tires since I want them to retain their natural texture and not end up glossy. Once the varnish is dry, it's time to apply a wash. I will be applying an oil wash. I start by taking some ivory black and Van Dyke brown in a container. As you can see, this is not the first time I'm using this container to mix an oil wash. Next, I dilute the paint with some turpentine oil. I want the wash to be a little watery. And 
now on to the kit I let the wash dry for about half an hour or so. Now I take a paper towel and start wiping it away. I try and move in the direction of the airflow so that I can get some natural streaks too. Also, I deliberately leave some wash in areas where dirt and grime were likely to collect. I will now add some grease and smoke stains on the kit. First, I use the black and brown oil colors to add some staining on the oil cooler and radiator. I just place some black and brown oil around the air exit and then use a brush to streak the oil. Lastly, 
I use a cotton bud to blend the paint. To paint the smoke stain from the exhaust, I use soft pastels. I have cut the bristles of this brush short and I use this brush exclusively to apply pastels. I give the exhausts a little texture by applying some rust pigments on them. The pigments can be fixed in place using a pigment fixing liquid or turpentine, as I sometimes do. Finally, the entire kit is given a couple of misty coats of matte varnish. And here it is fellow model makers. A long time coming, but finally my take on the Hobby Boss 130 second scale Spitfire Mark 5B. I hope you enjoyed watching the video series as much as I enjoyed making it. Till next time, I wish you all the very best and happy modeling.